Welcome to this video against Alisa. Let's wake her up. Here we go. Okay, we have a um, Sicilian defense. Another night off, I guess. Yeah. Okay. This was played in another game recently against me and I played uh, very quickly d5 and I, I thought I had quite a nice position. Hmm. Yeah, he can uh, play knight f5 maybe, but uh, here I'm just uh, developing my pieces, and I think my position is fine. Another idea would have been uh, knight c5, and I think knight c5 would have been better. Let's kick this knight away. I can play knight h5 and threatening queen h4 but first I want to castle to bring my king into safety um, okay let's put pressure here on c4 Now I like to push um, maybe even f5 and f4 but my bishop is not very good here so this is a bit of a problem so it looks a bit strange here the rook on c6 um, Yeah, maybe I should play bishop h6, f5, take here on e3, and then f4. Yeah, this all looks a bit strange, but what can I do? I need to protect this pawn. And I think I will play a6 here. Or is queen b6 an idea? The knight is not doing that much here. I play f5 next move. And I can retreat the bishop here to e7, which overprotects d6. Yeah, I think f5 is okay here. can take on g3 here as well so let's get out of any potential check here and um, after f5 and if he takes the g5 would be open which is very good for me
Yeah, so the position starts to improve for me. Um, maybe I can even sacrifice here on G3. I think he will take here, but I thought I take on h4 now. So here you can see uh, why king h8 was good because there is no uh, knight h6 check here. Um, What is better? Taking with bishop, queen g5, or knight g3? I think I take with the bishop. Yeah, and here I thought maybe queen to g5. Although I'm not sure because he... Well, but... Let's try this. I, li I like the idea. So his king is uh, very, very uh, open. Or her... Her king, right? Yes. Um, oops. Alisa. So her king is um, very open, and I think there are dangerous threats now. I can maybe even play here and take on uh, on e4. to open up the f file. The good thing is bishop b2 I can play bishop e5 check. Otherwise it would be very annoying for me. Cause um okay in here Wow okay But uh, the, the knight on b5 is hanging. So after. Um, I still threaten to take the knight on b5. If, he play, if, if she plays. Um, okay, I can take here. Now Queen F2 will follow. Yeah, nice tactical game. And um, I'm not sure about the opening, however. It seems to me that, uh, yeah, I have problems with the pawn here on D6, but. 
Yeah, well, I think knight b6 was not a good move. Hmm. Or maybe I should even really play a6 first. So we would switch into kind of a Marashi uh, bind setup. But, um, yeah, is there an alternative? I didn't really like to play knight e7 because of knight f5 and attacking here. But. Yeah, maybe um, knight d7 is good anyway because knight f5, queen b6 protects d6 and attacks b5. And then I I play um, g6 or a6. Yeah, interesting uh, opening. Um, what went wrong? Well, I mean, white has huge attack here on on d6 so i had to attack on uh, on the king side i think which i did and um i think also this move is good because um a direct f5 and f4 um i would have the problem that this bishop would be very bad in the end game so i needed to improve a bit the position of the bishop uh, which was locked in and here there's always uh, a sacrifice in the air, and uh, in the end, there was even a taking on uh, an h4. No, um, yeah. Um, and what I also liked is, is, this, is this move here. Um, it's just prophylaxis, because um, white always can uh, make a check here, an in-between move, and at, as we saw later in the game, uh, it was quite useful that the uh, king was here on h8. Also. Uh, potential if I play f5 a potential check here with the queen on d5 is avoided um, so yeah sometimes it's good to make uh, prophylactic moves uh, where you avoid checks of your opponent like uh, king h8 thanks for watching